Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel as always my name is Lee also known as Osiris. In today's episode we're continuing on with our VGC series 10 content and we've got a treat for you today. We've got another team from our good friend Stu who's provided this team today which features Zygarde. So we have already featured Zygarde in series 10 that was our own build uh, but we've got another build today obviously Stu and uh, a different kind of take on the kind of composition of this team obviously Zygarde is still running at Misty Seed it does lack a little bit of special defense against some of the bigger threats in the format namely Xerneas so it does need that kind of little bit of help there uh, we do have the Misty Seed so you're gonna have to have the uh, Tapu Fini here the coil is the main kind of setup on Zygarde going with crunch and thousand arrows and then a support Fini with the heal pulse the icy wind light screen and then the nature's madness and then we've got Incineroar Rillaboom and then the more interesting part of the team comes with the last two Pokemon in Bronzong and Toxicroak. So Bronzong gives us a way to actually check Xerneas pretty well and set up Trick Room as well as having access to Iron Defense and Body Press and Gyro Ball. So it is going to be able to do some considerable work just by itself if, uh, if we can get it set up in the right positions and then Toxicroak gives us a nice way to deal with things like Kyogre that otherwise would be a bit of a problem for Zygarde to deal with where Toxicroak can kind of come in provides another fake out for the team it's got Sucker Punch so it checks things like uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex pretty well especially because we can change terrain with Rillaboom there uh, we've got Low Kick Poison Jab as well which give us nice options to hit things like Xerneas as well if we are in the right position of course so here is the rental code what we'll do as always we'll have a couple of games with the team now we'll kind of talk through pilot hopefully have a good couple of examples uh, against meta teams that we face today and then we'll wrap up with the rental at the end of the episode so thanks so much for tuning in as always friends i hope you enjoyed today's episode leave your comments down below uh, and let me know if you've tried zygarde this format and uh, what your thoughts are on the team and if you do try it out as always do let me know down in the comment section below and uh, i'd love to hear all your thoughts on this team too. but without further ado friends we'll get into game one opponent so we're going up against sam and they are running a team of tornadoes in cinerol zashin gastrodon landerous therian and rillabooms it's not a bad matchup for us, to be honest. There's a few threats and obviously things that we need to watch out for. There's the Intimidate spam. It's not going to be great for Zygarde in general. Um, obviously, the Gastrodon can cause us a few issues, particularly if it does have something like Ice Beam. Uh, Zashin as well. We have to be careful because more more often than not these days, you know, we've seen Zashin run and play rough, so that could be an issue in itself. Um, but other than that, we're kind of all right, I would say. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll go Incy, Zygarde, Tapu Fini, and Boom Boom. We'll not bring the bronze on as much as I want to in this one. Uh, I think Rillaboom probably helps us out a little bit better with the, um, the double fake out the terrain, the grassy glide to help us get rid of the Gastrodon a little bit easier. And whereas Bronzog may may struggle a little bit against something like that. But we will soon find out what my opponent's gonna do because they are leading with Zashin and Incineroar. Gotta be very careful around things like Zashin because uh, they can potentially set up a sword stance here. That's never gonna be great. Uh, we could trade fake outs as well with my opponent. Just fake out the Zashin. Um, we could switch out Zygarde. The issue is, obviously, it looks like as a, a Incineroar is slower than theirs, so we've got the slower fake out. We could potentially just parting shot out onto the opposing uh, Zashian. Um, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, let's parting shot. Uh, we could coil, or we could switch out into something like Rillaboom here, and then parting shot back into Zygarde on our Incineroar slot. Uh, so we reset the Intimidate almost, um, and then we got the Fake out the next turn, so we can go for that coil if we want to. The big issue here is if we see the opposing Incineroar go for Fake out into our Incineroar, and that kind of shuts down our, our play a little bit. Especially if... Okay, so that's not going to happen. I'm going to see Landorus coming, so that's fine. This is the issue. They're going to have that Intimidate Shuffle, which makes things a little bit trickier for us, of course. Um, 
And there's Ashi and protecting. Okay. Well. It's not terrible. But we do want to reposition with Incineroar. I mean, we, we got a pretty easy fake out into Zashin and uh, parting shot into that slot if we want. I think because that is something that we could definitely see happening, we probably want to just assume that our, my opponent will switch his Zashin out because that player is likely because they protected the last turn. So we can shut down the Landorus, expect that the Incineroar probably comes in on that Zashin slot so they can um, at least reset the the intimidate drop to bring it in later but we'll really what we want to be doing is trying to get zygon onto the field and getting a, a couple of coils under our belt and then we don't see the zashin switch out it's uh just gone for the behemoth blade into Rillaboom. kind of makes me feel like the the gastrodons in the back if you're kind of putting that much kind of emphasis onto onto the Rillaboom. Uh, but this isn't too bad because we'll get Zygod back on the field now and I think then you know the Zashin's got to switch out got to switch out so it does give us the opportunity to try and get a coil up um, and I think that's what we'll do we'll coil now um, Could get Tappy Finney onto the field. It's probably better to get Finney onto the field, to be honest. Um, I was likely to see if anything, the lander has been, probably goes U turn into Rillaboom to try and pick up the knockout there. Um, and then get the, the Zashian back on that side of the field. So we want to try and keep Incineroar in the back because we're expecting the Zashian to switch out 100%, unless it goes for a sword stance here, which it could do, which wouldn't be ideal. But at least we got Intimidate in the back, you know? And we get our Misty Seed Boost. It's actually just protecting. Okay. And there's that U-turn. We expected. Yep. And the Incin are all going to come in on that slot. Yeah. All right. Well, you would imagine probably the Zashin to switch out. The, well, the Zashin. I just feel like the Zashin keeps needing to switch out, but it's not switching out. So, I mean, the next turn I would expect Fake Out into... Zygarde, and um, I'd expect the Landorus to come in on the Zashin slot. But who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But just to kind of, I think, because you probably fake out Zygarde to stop another coil, right? Um, could Icy Wind? Because <laughs> then we catch Landorus on the, on the switch in does a nice chunk of damage and probably puts Finney in a good position to knock it out the following turn and if we can just dismantle that kind of intimidate cycle then Zygarde's going to have a way easier time uh, because to be honest they're kind of keeping us in check at the minute we're getting the defense boosts that we need which is great but obviously we're not not getting the power boosts as well and that's one thing about Zygarde is it's it's a little underwhelming if you can't get those kind of attack boosts so there we go it's finally going out are they going to check the finny and allow us to get another coil i mean it's kind of a win-win for us here they're definitely going to fake out into zygarde i think or are they or are they do they worry about buddy water or icy wind potentially Ooh. they're just going to go for the parting shot i think into zygarde now <coughs> with incineral get the Zashin back on the field which is actually all right you know at this point if they haven't got a haze user then yeah so I think we're minus we're minus one right now but plus two defense I think we probably caught hmm We got an option here. We we could switch in Incineroar, or so you don't really want to lose uh, Finny here. I mean, the other thing is we could go for thousand arrows, but we're probably better coiling again and switching into 
Incy, I think. I get so tempted to go for, uh, so tempted to go for the Icy Wind again and just protect Zygarde here. But I worry about the Zashin uh, just attacking into Tapu Fini and the Behemoth Blade probably enough to pick up the knockout on plus one. So it's not, it's not an ideal situation. And the opposing Landorus is definitely in Grassy Glide range from Rillaboom. So if we can position ourselves against that with Boom at some point, then... Ooh, Wild Charge. Good job we switched out. Good job. Are they checking? No, they're going for U-turn. And then the Incineroar is going to come in. Okay. Wild Charge. Wild Charge. That's it. Is that blah, 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 Zashin. What, what is this? What is this? This is the thing with today's episode, I think, like, obviously playing as I got that normally, like, really slow-paced games, and you've got to be very patient and kind of pick your moments right and not take too many risks. Um, but, I mean, we're plus three defense now, so we're sitting pretty happy with Zygarde. We can just start really chucking out attacks, I think, um, and just getting damage on the board, because the annoying thing is, yeah, we're minus one, but... Um, I don't know if we really need to worry too much about everything else. I think we switch Finny back in here. I don't think they go wild charge again. I think <clears throat> they've got to at some point start attacking the Zygarde. There's a fake out. And Sacred Sword. So it's Sacred Sword, Behemoth Blade. I just, yeah. I mean, it doesn't do too bad damage, right? Everything's grounded. Um, yeah, we'll just switch straight back into... I mean, th this is an opportunity where we could potentially coil again. Because they're going to intimidate us again. But I, at the same time, it might be better off if we just keep attacking. And then switch back into Incineroar. So we've got that active fake out the next turn. Um... And I mean, the thing is, nothing's got really recovery. Like, Zashian hasn't got recovery. Incineroar may have a berry, probably does. Landorus doesn't. So that we're chipping everything down slowly to the point where, you know, we're going to be able to knock stuff out. And we're sitting in a decent position at the minute. It's just slow-paced, slow-paced. But if you've got the patience, Zygarde's always a great, great mon to, to play, you know. Um, it's just whether or not you, you kind of like that slow-paced game. Um, or you prefer a bit more offensive, but it, like a lot of the time the positioning with Zygarde is uh, is pretty key. I can't believe the Zashin's just staying in uh, to go after that type of finny, but wanting to pick up the knockout, nearly getting the knockout on the Zashin, so one more of those will get it. Uh, as we see another parting shot into Zygarde, take us down to minus two. We are minus three when the Landorus comes in. Um, but... I mean, this is the thing, like, we're not going to be hitting very hard, but the Zashin now, in a position where we're going to be able to knock it out, the Zashin's gone, uh, everything gets a bit easier after that. Um, but the, 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 it's, I think one thing you could probably point out here is with Zygarde in particular, a, a really good way to slow it down uh, from an opponent's side of a view is is the double Intimidate, the, the Intimidate cycle. So. You can put something in your team with like competitive uh, Galarian Zapdos, for instance, or Melotic. Melotic's a little bit harder to fit in, obviously, because Finny's the kind of preferred, the pr preferred partner, so to speak. But you know, uh, Galarian Zapdos could fit in here pretty nice, and it punishes this kind of approach to a game from your opponent. You know, it really does make it very difficult for your opponent to uh, to really deal with Zygarde in an effective way. Um, okay, well we've 1000 hours again and there's no way, there is no way they leave Zashin in here. There is no way. There's no way. They have to switch to Incineroar. But we'll see. I've been, I've been wrong about Zashin most of this game. So we may be wrong again. We may see the fourth Pokemon yet. But like I say, okay, just just protecting. We'll get a bit of damage onto this Landorus. We'll probably do more with the fake out, in all honesty. Let's see. Which is his thousand hours gonna do? 
here we go, Zygarde. I wanted the ultimate form. It's not doing too much, it's not too bad. And we'll go for it again. Um, and then we'll switch to... Ah, let's switch to Finny again, you know. Keep the in Intimidate in the back. I don't want to switch Rillaboom in in case the Gastrodon is that that fourth and final Pokemon for my opponent. I would assume it is, like, just kind of telling from the way that they went after the Rillaboom the way they did. But then again, who can tell? Because now uh, that, that total viewpoint is so obscure because I think they've just kept the Zashin in in most situations where they haven't switched it out. I can see it switching out here, though, for sure. Ooh, Landra switching out. Incineroar, okay. I'm so confused, I'm so confused. But we'll see Sacred Sword into Incineroar because I think they give up hope going after the, the Zygarde at this point. Um, But we got ourselves set up so well, you know. Um, Zygarde's just, even, even if we need to coil a, a couple of times after this, as long as we get a knockout onto Zash in here, um, we'll, we'll kind of be alright because it cuts down the options that they've got for switching and intimidate cycling and such even though the Landorus is just ready to come back in but I mean at the same time we've got Finny where we can just Icy Wind or we could switch into um, Incineroar again because I think the Incineroar now on my opponent's end probably goes for Fake Out into Finny to stop that Icy Wind to preserve the Landorus but again, I could be wrong. I could see Gastrodon come in here. I do think Gastrodon is the last Pokemon, but we will soon find out. What is it going to be? Oosh. I don't know if we'll get two games in today in this episode with Zygarde. We'll be pretty, we definitely will. It's just, you know, slow, 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 slow. But let me know, you know, if you've, if you've played much Zygarde yourself in, the, in Series 10, how, how would you feel? Uh, about the kind of the slower pace of the game um, it'd be nice to kind of hear other people's opinions on how things or how you kind of interpret Zygarde to play sometimes I know it will be a lot quicker uh, but a, a lot of the time it's going to be just a lot of switching and kind of just chipping things down just like this game really you know um, but the, the one thing you can say with Zygarde is if you kind of manage Zash in matchup well a lot of the time you're going to be able to kind of beat it you know uh, it's just about kind of being careful with your um your intimidate and uh, the other support and cast that you've got on the team like your fake out and positioning that and just trying to stay ahead of the game we are going to see a rock slide come out fishing for that flinch does it get it it does get well, landers gets it landers gets it how dare you um we might see a parting shot here but we'll fake out into the Landorus. I think a fake out and a minus whatever we are. A thousand arrows should be enough to get the Landorus unless we see it switch. But we're not going to see it. Nearly, ooh, nearly, nearly get the knockout. There's a thousand arrows this time around. And we'll get my opponent down to the last two Pokemon. So that's not too bad. Landorus gone. No more Intimidate, which is always good. Just parting shot. <coughs> I wonder what we are, like minus four, minus five at this point, maybe even minus minus six. Sam's done a good job at uh, at neutering the Zygarde throughout this match though. So it is the Gastrodon. As we expected. Okay. Well that's not too uh, it's not too bad. I mean it's not brilliant, but yeah, all the coils that we've got under our belt. We're probably better off at this point, honestly, pulling in a double switch. Uh, yeah, we're minus six, so we're probably better off switching Zygarde out. Like the defense boost at this point, we do have the Misty Seed boost, which is which is handy. But we can switch into something like Tapu Finny here, um, and just go for a parting shot into the Gastrodon anyway. Get a light screen up, get Rillaboom back onto the field, and then see where we go from there. And then when Zygarde comes back onto the field, at least it's going to be hitting a bit harder, because at the minute it's just completely whiffing with everything that it's doing. Okay, there's a parting shot. What are we going to see? Let's see Big Bad Boom. Uh, are we going to see a Scald or are we going to see... Well, we're not going to see an Ice Beam into Incineroar. Could be a Scald. I'd imagine more of an Ice Beam into the type of Finny slot. Or even a Scald there. But, I mean, 
Gastrodon's not really an issue at the moment. Ooh, Earth Power. Okay, we should take this. Make a champ. Um, we could be a little bit sneaky this next turn. I think the Gastrodon probably protects. So we fake out Incineroar. Um, and go for a Heal Pulse. And then that makes things a lot easier for us to manage. And we get around the potential protect from the Gastrod on this turn and knock it out with a, a grassy glide the next turn. And then because then the, the obviously the, the more recoil the Incineroar will take from the Flare Blitz will mean that it probably goes down, Zygarde comes in and then we can close it up from there. So just like that. Right, they need a double protect. Three minutes left, my god, my god. <laughs> Such a long game. Such a long game. But at least we haven't lost the Pokemon, right? At least we haven't. Uh, to this point, I would say, to this point. I'll tell you what we could do. It's probably more optimal to switch in Incineroar here and then Grassy Glide into Gastrodon uh, and then hope that the minus one Flare Blitz isn't enough to take us down, which it might not be. You've got to hope at this point that it's not. It's no point in even putting a Rindo Berry on the Gastrodon because you can't. They go for the double protect. Don't get it, unfortunately. Yeah, and that is going to be down and out. And Flare Blitz incoming into a boom. But I think a fake out and a U turn is probably enough now. Just about take it with that intimidate support. There we go. And uh, clinical, clinical finish as we can fake out a new turn for the win and get Zygote back onto the field. We didn't even get that power construct activated this turn. Um, but at least we got to, um, at least we got a 4 nil. eh? Got to, got to take that when you can. But, um, but yeah, very slow paced. Uh, just, yeah. The Zashian was an interesting build um, and it definitely didn't play like I expected it to, but we managed to um we managed the zygarde all right and just took our opportunity so very good game to sam really nice to play you and uh zygarde gets off to a, a winning start so let's jump into game two hopefully it's not as long as game one okay our next opponent is running a team of kyoga reggie alecki reggie drago tornado serena and bishop this is an interesting team it looks pretty threatening across the board bishop in particular is not too bad but we've got to be careful with Incineroar here uh, so it kind of discounts me wanting to bring Incineroar. I think we could probably start off with Tapu Fini, uh, Toxicroak and then go Boom I think and Zygarde but if we can kind of lay out uh, a light screen early on it helps set the tone for the rest of the game. We've got to be careful about the Tornadus uh, like as a lead and Serena switch in turn one. May say Torn Olga come out. Oh, it's Tornadus and Serena. This is pretty decent lead for us, to be honest. Kyogre definitely threatens with like thunder. We need to be like particularly careful with that. Um, and obviously the Serena threatens Toxicro uh, threatens Finny as well, but. To be honest, we could probably switch Finny straight out into um, into Rillaboom and just poison jab the Serena. Because if you go for the Thunder, you either go for it into like if you go for it, you may go after the Toxic Crawl because it is a bit of an issue. Um, but it's more than likely you would see it go into. Uh, the, the Finny here, but we'll see. We'll see what they do. Salt Vest though makes Toxicroak extremely, extremely well versed against something like. Ooh, we're seeing the Bishop switch in, so that's a nice switch. And we do see the Thunder come out from the Kyogre. Kyogre into Boom Boom. Still does a heck of a lot of damage, doesn't it? Uh, Poison Jab not affecting the Bishop, but not too bad, to be honest. I think this next turn we probably. Bishop scares me a little bit because uh, we can low kick it. Um, 
I expect the 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 the, uh, the, the Kyogre to switch out. You see, into Serena. Um, we kind of need Boom to help us deal a little bit easier with the Kyogre because it, it could be specs from that damage that we've just seen. Um, and get Finny back onto the field. Just I'd like to go for the U the U turn into Bishop, but I feel like Bishop. Well, I hundred percent Bishop's gonna outspeed. Um, Rillaboom. Is the Bishop Sash though? That's a question. I wonder. I wonder if it is Sashed. Oh, it just protects this turn. Okay. So we're not really getting much out of Toxaproc at the minute. Um, I could poison jab Tornadus, but it's likely it's going to just Hurricane into Toxaproc, to be honest. We don't really have the switching uh, for that, so we could stay and hope we take it, but it's four, time, four times weak. It's not ideal. We could get Zygod onto the field and go for a light screen or an icy wind. Light screen's probably better. Uh, in all honesty. Because um, the bigger threats to us are definitely the Tornado the Kyogre. Especially for Zygod. And I'd imagine the Bishop may switch out here. My opponent's scared of like the Sash on the Toxicroak. It could be. Could be. Okay. Don't see the switch. There's a Hurricane. And Iron Head into Zygod. Oh, we don't take that very well. We don't take that well at all. But I mean, the next turn we got potentially Icy Wind, but um, we do get a Power Construct. We do have that, at least. And at least we got the Light Screen the next turn as well, which makes it a little bit easier um, to take the Hurricane, at least. Got to worry about opposing Icy Wind, you know. The other thing we could do is switch Finny out now into Toxicroak. Um, and then we got the fake out onto the Tornadus the next turn. But with then we don't do that. We switch back into Serena. Because I think then they'll switch the Bishop out to Serena to block that fake out. If you get what I mean. Because I think they go for Hurricane now into the Zygarde again. I think they double up into it. Okay, Taunt. That's fine. And... Iron Head. Yeah, okay. Now, this is where we can get the... Now, we could go for a Coil here. Or we could just go a Thousand Arrows. And just get damage onto the uh, the Tornadus. Um, probably better just to get damage, in all honesty. And just switch back into Finny. Because I do expect the Bishop to go out now. Yeah, Serena come in. And Hurricane into the Tapu Fini slot, so... Ooh, it's Kyogre, huh? Well... They just go for the Hurricane into Zygarde, then. Kind of interesting if they do that. They're just protecting. Okay. Protecting on the fake out. Get free damage into the Kyogre. Um, well, I mean, at least we now can, by repositioning, we can get an Icy Wind off, which helps. It doesn't help massively. Um, because they can just literally go a Tailwind, but the rain has stopped. They've probably got, uh, we'll go Icy Wind. They've probably got, uh, they got Tailwind for sure, right? They don't have Rain Dance though. Or do they? Do they have Rain Dance? Okay, Tornado switching out. This is Bishop, that makes it a little bit, urgh get punished but the Serena coming in that's fine no Tailwind coming out so that means Zygarde's in a great spot next turn where we can go for the heal pulse um, gotta watch out for that triple axle though that's the big problem you know the triple axle coming out from that Serena is a big big issue for us for sure um, <laughs> and I don't think we take a double
Um, okay. Should we leave Zygarde in? No, 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 no. I don't think so. Toxicroak's probably the one to bring in here. Um, we could pull a double switch, you know. And just bring Boom onto the field as well. It kind of just covers the, the grass, uh, the power whip, into the Tapu Fini. My opponent really wants to get rid of it. It's a good time to go for it from Serena. Just Ice Beam with Kyogre. This is Serena. Like, the other thing is, you go for Triple Axel. Um, which is still going to hurt Toxicroak. But it'll take it a heck of a lot better than Zygarde would. Okay. Let's see what we're going to see. It'll be Tornadus. Mm. Power Whip. Alright. Well... can't fake out anything but I mean do we see the Serena switch out for Kyogre and then a hurricane into Toxicroak maybe it's a risky play it's a risky play but you could potentially see my opponent doing that because it's like do you go for the blind hurricane now um, do they make that play don't know because we could potentially just do Finny and predict the Kyogre coming in for that Serena. Hopefully that happens. That would be good if it did. So Toxicroak is generally going to be out, out speed in Serena anyway. So it could still happen. Although, uh, what have we done? We needed to switch in something other than Tapu Finny here. Unless they're going after the Toxicroak. If they pull that switch. No. Okay. Rillaboom was the target. We uh, target into Serena, not doing very much damage, of course, so this didn't work out very well at all uh, in the U-turn into Finny and Kyogre are going to come back onto the field. Okay. Ugh. I don't know why I got in my head there. I was like, yeah, they're going to pull that switch. Okay, Bishop coming back out. Um... Probably want it. We need to get Zygarde back on the field. This is a problem. And the light screen. And we can't really icy wind at this point. It's got Nature's Madness into Bishop. Um, and we could go. Nah, they're gonna they're gonna go Iron Head. For sure. Um, one thing, uh, yeah, yeah, nature's madness. And Zygarde, let's bring Zygarde in. We could have went for the side heal pulse, but again, if they taunt us here, would be a bit knackered. So I'm hoping Iron Head into Finny, really, and taunt. Okay, Tailwind, that's that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Iron Head into Finny, no, into Zygarde, okay. It's not too bad. Get the nature's madness. That's all right. Okay. Have we got to go for a blind hurricane here? Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll heal pulse Zygarde, and we'll go for a thousand arrows. Because you either taunt the Finny here, or I think you hurricane into Zygarde, and hopefully we can take a hurricane. Hopefully we can. Oh, they taunt. Oh, they taunt. Okay, well, we get a free... We get a free 1,000 hours off. So we get that damage off, which is good. Can't get that um, heal pulse off. But the 1,000 hours is generally quite useful. Uh, and we can go for an icy wind here if we, if we want. Um, yeah, and I think we just protect at this point. The issue is if they bring in the, the, uh, the bishop... No, we're probably we're definitely going to see thunder from the Kyogre. It's just whether or not they go thunder hurricane into that slot. Take it, just, 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 just.
Oh, they do double up. Okay. Now the issue is here, if that Kyogre is Specs, is it? If it is Specs. There is a bit of an issue where they are locked into Thunder. So they'd have to switch out this turn. Um, but we are not going to be able to take a Hurricane. Uh, and they just switch in Serena. So I think we'd have to go after Kyogre with the Poison Jab. And then go for a Thousand Arrows. And if they got Ice Beam and they're not Specs, then we're done. Because it's Hurricane. Okay. Is this Serena coming in? Okay. If they are Specs, this is... Yeah, they're locked into Thunder. Okay. This is actually alright. This is alright. Okay. Yeah, so we get the Kyogre. That's, that's big for us. And then the Poison Jab gets the Serena. And then we only got Bishop and, and Tornadus to deal with now, so that's good. Uh, this should knock out. Yep. And then what we can potentially do is switch out Toxicroak for Rillaboom. And Tailwind ends as well. Hmm. Yeah. Protect. Zygarde. Switch in Rillaboom. They'll knock out Rillaboom. We bring in Toxicroak. Fake out. Uh, yeah, fake out. And yeah. So, let's see. Is this going to work? Because I think Zygarde will take an Iron Head. It's iffy whether or not we will take uh, a Hurricane or not. But now Serena's gone. We're in a good spot. So, whoo! Let's see, can we pull two wins out today? Feels hard against this squad. This squad feels difficult, especially after they had what, that one turn where we guessed completely the opposite of what my opponent ended up doing. We've managed to kind of keep our toes in the water though. So, let's see. The extra health gained back from Zygarde actually will be quite beneficial here. Hurricane, that's fine. We just want that active fake out coming back in from Toxicroak. And there's the Iron Head, yeah. So, I think, um, hmm, yeah, we just fake out Tornadus and go, yeah, fake out Tornadus, we've got a thousand arrows, that will pick up the knockout into Bishop, and then if the, the, the Tornadus doesn't protect, we'll be able to get the Sucker Punch knockout onto it the next turn. There we go. And then we can stall out the rain from there and hope that Hurricane doesn't miss if we... Yeah. But they may just double protect here. They may do. But I still think we're going to be alright because we've got Sucker Punch on Toxicroak that we can take advantage of onto the Tornado. So that plus Thousand Arrows. Okay. Torn Protecting. And Bishop Protecting. Okay. In terms of rain, have we got... We've got much rain to go. Rain stops. Okay, that makes things a bit way easier for us actually, because they have to hit a hurricane now. Um, yeah. So it's all about, yeah, sucker punch. Because we could just sucker punch the tornadoes now, to be honest, and protect Zygarde. But they may just tailwind, so getting around the sucker punch from Toxicroc. I feel like you've got to attack. You've got to attack at this point. You can't let Zygarde keep getting these grassy terrain health boosts every turn. Let's see. Let's see what they do. Go on, just click that hurricane button, Tornadus. Please. Click it, click it, click it. Yes. Please let it be a miss. Oh, come on. We survive it. No way. We survive it. A Soul Fest. I didn't think we'd survive it, you know. I honestly didn't think we'd survive it, but 
Toxicrog's beasts with the assault vest. Some good EV in there. Um, now they probably don't go. They probably go Tailwind this turn, I think. And we'll thousand arrows, and that should lock it up. I don't think they get the sucker punch again. I mean, they may do, right? They're not going to get knocked out by it, but they kind of want to try and avoid the sucker punch damage if possible. We should outspeed Bishop with Toxicroc. Oh, they suck a punch and they're hurricaning. But they miss. Thousand arrows and a low kick. Oh, it's just enough. It's just enough. Zygod wipes wipes the floor. Okay, well, that is a good game to my opponent. Zygod coming through victorious again. Tough game, especially with how the the, 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 the kind of the, the tools that my opponent had there felt very difficult. Um maybe being overcautious in places, but Again, uh, if it, it's all about the win at the end of the day, isn't it? So we get two wins with the team, so that's really great. And uh, two good examples of how the team can approach two different kind of, uh, I guess, meta teams as well. So that's been pretty useful. It's been a long one today, but we'll jump over now and remind you all of today's rental code. Right, friends, here is today's rental code. A big shout out once again to our fellow friend Stu thank you so much Stu for the team passing it over to us it is a lot of fun and I'm trying to remember I'm sure Stu will comment down below and remind us I'm sure you did play it in the tournament and had a really solid run with it and um, so you know the team has had very good tournament experience as well and um, it's it's extremely fun to play but like I say it depends on how you're, you you take the kind of format and how if you like to play a little bit slower then you'll enjoy this team it's about the repositioning um, and a lot of kind of patience as well uh, but if you're not into that too much then it might not be the team for you but that's just how Zygarde plays generally but it's a very solid mon it's not a mon to forget about in the format it is very good and uh, I think still has a lot of potential but like I say the games are drawn out and you're gonna be going down the time a lot of the time uh, with the team but that said I hope if you do try it out you enjoy it uh, thank you so much for tuning into today's episode Hope you have a great rest of your day, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Make sure you take care of yourselves, friends, and I will see you all for another episode uh, on the channel very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.